Channing Muller moved to Chicago in May from Chattanooga, Tennessee. Her main goal in the new city was to find a partner. Already a Bumble user, before long, she was subscribed to three more dating apps, The League, Hinge and Match. Muller wanted to get the most out of the platforms, so she signed up for their paid versions. At times, she was spending more than $100 a month on the apps. When you're serious about looking for a relationship, you're going to put your money where your mouth is, said Muller, 38, a marketing consultant. The era of free dating apps may be over. Companies are trying to boost their revenue, while single people increasingly feel the apps are the only way to find love. Some 35% of Americans who have used a dating website or app have paid to do so at some point, according to a recent report by Pew Research Center. The average paying dating app user spends around $19 a month, Morgan Stanley found earlier this year. Some people, however, shell out much more. The league's VIP membership costs $999 a week or $2,499 a month. The VIP membership allows users to match with prospects in multiple cities, see new singles first and use a concierge service that it says will help you win at this dating game. In September, Tinder rolled out a $499 monthly subscription to some of its most active users, and Hinge recently introduced a $600 a month membership. Read more of personal finance. Three financial tips for couples moving in together for the first time he paid for the first date and he asked for his money back Latino student loan borrowers face extra challenges. The days of venture capital subsidized swiping are over, said Blaine Anderson, a men's dating coach in Austin, Texas, who said her clients spend hundreds of dollars a month on dating apps. Companies want to monetize the services they provide to eager singles. The rise of paid options has rendered free tiers, borderline unusable, for some clients, Anderson said. Still, dating app companies say they have noticed a demand for paid add-ons and are unlikely to go back. There's a group of users who are eager to use our premium features, AJ Balance, Grinder chief product officer, told CNBC. Officials at Match Group, Inc., the parent company of more than 45 dating apps and sites, including Tinder, Hinge and The League, declined to comment. Dating apps have seen a slowdown in user growth of late, stoking investors' concerns that the honeymoon may be over for the U.S. online dating industry, Morgan Stanley wrote in a recent report. I think there's a general sense of app fatigue, said Catherine Caduto an assistant professor at Boston University who studies Internet behavior. In her research, Caduto has found that many people use up to four dating apps at a time. The platforms can start to blend together. The apps are pulling from the same dating pool, and so, users, are seeing the same people, matching with the same people and not finding anyone new, Caduto said.